today we're going to be talking about dialogue. Hi, this is Janice Seagraves. Thank you for joining me. Today we're talking about dialogue. I understand how frustrating it can be to revise one's own work. I've been there myself and I'm doing it now. For dialogue tags, I turn to Shrunk and White. Place he said, she said, or name first uh, when you're writing the dialogue to identify the person. I don't mean you write it before the dialogue, I mean after the dialogue, you, you put the dialogue tag in. If you're writing a question, the same rule applies. He asked, Mass, Mike asked, Molly asked. Never substitute said for asked. If you have a question mark and it's clear who's doing the talking, then you don't really need the asked. In fact, you don't really need the uh, dialogue tag at all if it's really clear who's, who's doing the speaking. Example, Linda turned on the light and looked at Mike. What's this about? And be careful that you don't over edit your manuscript, which can lead to dropped words. You'll find editors do not use word lists um, on the internet. However, if you're overzealous with deleting these words, you can also have an issue with dropped words. I'm not saying to ignore these words, but maybe take them with a grain of salt and use them judiciously. Editors only have issues with these words if you overuse them. It's clarity that's the key to good strong manuscripts and a lot of this has to do with how it sounds. Our ears catch a lot more than our eyes do. Here's a helpful hint. Read your manuscript out loud or better yet have someone read your manuscript to you. Sometime, something else to try is um, one of these text-to-speak programs. A friend suggested one and I found it useful. Where can you find inspiration for realistic dialogue? Nearly anywhere. Here's, uh, here's some examples I wrote myself by keeping my eyes and ears open. Mostly I was observing mothers and their children just a few days before the holidays and the mother seemed tired and the children antsy. At a store in town, a little girl about seven stood in the front window display with her back to the glass. I was actually wondering what she was doing in there. Um, the front door was opened by a little boy, no older than five. Cindy, Cindy, he looked around and went back inside. When I entered the store, the little girl peeked out at me from between the mannequins with an impish grin. There you are, said the little boy. The two children giggled and chased each other around the clothing racks. Madam, called out the 18-year-old clerk, can you please tell your children that this isn't a playground? She sighed and shook her head as if she'd been saying this all day. A dark-headed woman looked up long enough to say something sharp, in a sharp tone, in Spanish, to the two children before returning to the clothing she was looking through. The kids skidded to the stop, their shoes squeaking and duck their heads. At Walmart, a woman reached for a baby that her older child held. Here, give them to me. There's people trying to walk here. The woman frowned and her voice had a hard edge. At Panda Express, a tired woman leaned toward the clerk over the glass display. I want the chow mein with honey walnut shrimp. And for my son, I want... Her son, who looked eight, stood behind her. He poked her in the butt with his toy Spiderman doll and laughed. As her face turned red, the woman turned and swatted at him. Stop that, we're in public. Now if you prefer dialogue that pops, I suggest doing some research. Watch those old 1930s and 1940s films that had snappy dialogue. I suggest anything with Cary Grant, Katherine Hepburn, Cla Claudette Clobert, and William Powell. Um, some of the movies that they, not all in the same time, but some that they were in. Um, Ball of Fire, which was filmed in 1941. Arsenic and Old Lace, which was 1944. I, that's a gem. I just love that one. Uh, Libeled Lady, 1936. Holiday, 1938. 20th Century, 1934. 
The Thin Man, 1934, To Be or Not to Be, 1942, The Miracle of Morgan Creek, 1943, The Philadelphia Story, 1940, and Topper, which was filmed in 1937. Thank you for watching. Like, please like and subscribe, and I'll do another vlog next week. Bye!